This is like a fella's show. I like it. Um, well, congratulations on the film. I was telling y'all backstage, you have to be just like freaking out. This is a really great film that y'all are a part of. You all did a really, really fantastic job. Have any of y'all played basketball? You want to tell everybody? You're in a basketball movie, so I'm going to lead with that. Uh, <laughs> you haven't? No, I've never picked up a basketball. <laughs> um, I'm a football guy. Um, yeah, I've it always shows. sucked. It definitely shows. Yeah. So do y'all just like lie when the audition comes up? You're like, yeah, I play all the time. Like my manager lied for me. She told oh, she told smarter. production that I scored 17 points, 10 assists, six rebounds, and they thought it was great until they saw me in person. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, did you ever play? Um, I played a basketball on television a few times. I went from playing like the, the best basketball player in the country, uh, high school, best basketball player in the NBA, and I got to uh, play Marcus, who was the worst player on the team. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what about you, Will? Um, I grew up playing baseball, and then I slowly like realized that I wasn't that great at baseball and that I wasn't going to do anything with it, and kind of became a theater band nerd instead and did like trombone and theater and... Uh, but I, you know, for this movie, I worked on my shot a lot, so I, I hope it, I hope it paid off. I know, I I'm know. like all those three-pointers. We don't know if it went in, they cut, they yeah. freeze frame <laughs> right before. A lot of CGI. Make, make me look good. Yeah. Brandon, how about you? Oh yeah, I've been playing basketball my whole life. I've been playing all sports. I was terrible as a child, but, and then I like kind of picked it up a little bit more and I had a little foundation bringing to yeah. bring to this. They all had, uh, they, you know, they had a really challenging thing, which was the audition was not just the acting, but they also, also auditioned playing basketball. So the, the finalists as actors were all playing basketball against each other and like talk about pressure. I mean, I really felt for them, you know, and then it'd be like, okay, you guys can go home. Okay, next, you know, and I was like, man, this is brutal. I am <laughs> sweating in my pits right now for you. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know what? We lied. I'm not really great. Um, did you play sports? Did you play basketball? I did not play basketball. No. Yeah. That's why I didn't let, I didn't, I don't claim to play basketball. <laughs> and I told him that I didn't play basketball. You got me. I actually uh, told him I suck at yeah, basketball. I was not good. And that was Actually, and the director was like, he was really funny. He said, like, that's what I'm most worried about. You don't know the game. I was like, I don't really know the game. And so he was like, the acting, this stuff, all the other, the drama. Where are he was like, you got to, you know, so I watched a lot of tape of coaches and stuff. And the thing that was the most important for me was, like, to develop a relationship with these guys, yeah, develop a kind of a rapport. And uh, I think we did. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, I agree. It's great. The chemistry is great. Um, I don't know. I mean, you're all great actors if it wasn't really great in person. <laughs> but um, I know that it's awkward to ask in front of him, but I want the tea. What is, like, <laughs> the best story, the best Ben story? Will, do you me? have a... Oh, oh. Will, you want you me to start? One? Yes, I oh, do. Okay. I'm putting you on the spot. Don't, well, don't be afraid. Okay. Be afraid. Yeah, yeah. I, I, feel afraid <laughs> I will defend now. you. I, feel... I will hold Batman back. Okay. Um, well... When we were shooting, there's, there's a scene in the movie, I don't want to give away a lot, but there, a skirmish breaks out and we, and we, you know, the bench is cleared. And uh, I remember, I mean, like the group of all these dudes and we're fighting and whatever, fake fighting. And I just feel this dude come up behind me and just like grab me like this and just rip me out of the pile. And then I look back and it was Ben Affleck. And I was like, that's, that's how strong Batman is supposed to be. Like, it it makes sense. Like, why? I feel bad for the Joker's like henchmen, like that. He's legit. You know? Do you think Batman would have picked the smallest guy to pull out of this? He would have picked you. Yeah. Did if I was really strong, I would be like Melvin. <laughs> Did anybody else get a uh, bear hug from Batman? <laughs> mm, no, but oh, man. We were three weeks in shooting. I didn't have no lines. We were just doing all of the basketball stuff. So when we, when we had the scene where he introduces himself as the coach, um, I was so happy. I'm like, I finally get to speak, finally. <laughs> and so I remember when uh, I got ready to say my lines and uh, this guy cuts my line off. And so <laughs> it was, I let it slide. I gave him the slap, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll let Ben Affleck slide. You know, <laughs> left the heater in the back, you, you know. You are so that. bold. No, no he didn't let like, anything slide. Go, no, go I, I didn't, because he, he did it one more time, and I was like, oh, no, this, I'm not going to do, I'm not taking this. I don't, Ben Affleck, who? Cool. So I was, <laughs> and so I just remember, I was talking with Melvin in the group. I said, I'm about to tell Ben Affleck off. And, and. <laughs> And they Get were off like, my line. They were like, you know, are you crazy? Don't do it. And I ran over and I sprinted and I hit him right on the chest. I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, you stepping on my lines. What's, 
what's up with that? You know what I mean? And I'm proud of my line. I've been waiting a minute. I told him, Ben Affleck, you're Ben Affleck. You in this movie, you got all the lines. I don't got that many lines. You know what I mean? I got to I need all the chances I can get. And I had the script and I was telling him the line. Oh my God. This, this story has grown. Yeah. Yeah. I punched him in the chest. I stepped on his line once. His line was what? <laughs> I went past it. Figuring you can find I didn't even think about it. And then he was like, hey, hey man. <laughs> yeah, what's, what, what's going on? I think that's my life. That hey, my life. Okay, don't make me sound like that. <laughs> and then he's like, yo, huh? Who's my love? <laughs> and I have to say, I really, and I did look at the other guys, and they were all like, he looked at me, I was, it was the same clip that they showed before we came yeah, out. Yeah, the spitting yeah, facts, oh he cut God. that off. And he, I, I was like, it. I did respect that. I was like, this guy oh. is not going to let any pick his line. <laughs> my line is what? I'm going to say my line. <laughs> Like how your story like turned into that, and he was like, now "Well, the line was what?" Um, <laughs> right, I'm acting like I got some big monologue. He's like, "I had to, you know, sweep the leg." <laughs> it's amazing. All right, well, I asked everyone to bring one hashtag Throwback Thursday photo with a story behind it. I will go first because mine is probably the most embarrassing. Where is it at? Okay, so my mom, we were a oh, real broke because um, my mom's a teacher and they make no money. It's horrible. Um, anyway, so my mom would do this thing um, where we couldn't afford to go on vacations. Um, so <laughs> she just cut our pictures out around our head and then place us in landscapes. Oh, wow. So this was my favorite trip to the Swiss Alps. This <laughs> oh my God. This is my favorite, yeah, yeah. Like she would just take my random photos and here's the best part. We didn't probably pay for that either. You know, they give you like the one that says like photo on it. Like, and you just kind of what we chop the bottom off and then, then you don't have to pay for the pictures, note to self. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this was my throwback. My mom was, well, she was artistic. You beautiful woman, you. Um, Brandon, we're gonna go Brandon first. Here's Brandon's oh. throwback. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're so cute. Thank you. You are so cute. Is that fake behind you or real? <laughs> you talking about the Jerry curl behind my head? No. <laughs> that's all real. <laughs> no. No, that's the fake scene. people in the background. I know, I was just kidding. You're, you're, my landscape you is cooler. You both have fake pictures. <laughs> <laughs> people are Bigger really into the, the fake thing. <laughs> all right, Will is next. Let's see it. Oh, oh I got oh, three. Come wow. on, so cute. Oh, you need to be in a superhero movie. I was everyone except Batman, unfortunately. I was everyone. <laughs> no, and that, that's basically last year. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here, though? Are you flying off the tree, or what? I I don't know. I hope onto a ladder or something. I, I don't think that somewhere. was very high up, though. So we're good. All right, here. Oh, oh Melvin. Melvin. Oh. Melvin, you cutie. Lakers. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, now I Lakers fan. Yep. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, oh my God. Mac <laughs> did. Oh, my gosh. You little player. What? Are you wearing a suit? Are you in, like, a show? No. So, growing up, what is that, Prohibition night? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up as a kid, growing up as a kid, my mom, I used to dress like that every day for school. I'm not kidding. I used to dress like that in suits all day, every day. Um, I was with my dad. Uh, we was going to, we was going to church. Oh man. Wow. So key ring on your chain? I don't even. There's a hat on the chain, and I don't even know oh, what's a that's, bling. And like this massive rapper bling, and you're like five years old. It's amazing. Who did you're this, man? It's not cool. Three piece? You do look I like. I still can't wear a three piece. <laughs> you do look like a mini Bernie Mac. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's actually a good one. It's awesome. I would love for my kids to wear. I my my youngest is three, so I could put my boy in stuff like this, and he still has no like say. But I, it's, we're getting close to he won't let. I can't believe you let your mom do. That, all, the, all the layers. I'm, if I was like four or five years old, my mom would whoop me if I didn't do what she said. <laughs> you know what? We're very similar. <laughs> Your mom and I. <laughs> all right, Ben, let's see yours. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. You're a, look at your grease lightning hair. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> happening. 
You are yeah. so cute. What is happening here? That is. Uh, and you're looking at the personal. That is a young. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's Craigslist, and I'm trying to. Uh, no, I, I, that was an after-school special. The one thing I did, uh, one little thing I did besides that kids show for PBS, the cameraman said, "Oh, I'm filming a little after-school special. You should come in and audition." I went in and auditioned. It was about this little boy and his best friend, and they they. This is how long ago it was. They took out a personal ad. There was no internet uh, for his mom because it was a single mom and he tried to set her up. And the director came in and was like really cool and wanted to put their artistic bent on it. So she was like, I think you're a punk rocker. And I was like, I don't I even know it. what that means, but <laughs> apparently that's what it meant. <laughs> You do look rock and roll. Yeah, and Sid Vicious. I, yep. do. <laughs> I think I still win with the fake background, but whatever. Um, <laughs> who's, who's competitive? Not me. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.